I promise I'll get better at this process and I'll stop cutting myself off all the time. Um, okay, trying to go quick to hit the 50 minute... <laughs> yes, I am actually trying to go quick. Stop laughing. <laughs> I hit the 15 minute YouTube video limit and so y'all watch this but fall asleep. Um, these little kind of embroidered collars, uh, sometimes on the cuff, nope, not these ones, <laughs> as well, and this little area, which is called the button placket, um, I get it mixed up all the time and have to constantly, uh, I, I keep thinking it's placard. You know, five years in, I still want to call it a placket, or placard, not a placket, and if I have gotten them backwards already, then you get it. Uh, this one's 18 bucks, a size small. Another one with a little, uh, this one's really cute with the embroidery. 12 bucks, size small, medium-ish. And more embroidery on the collar, 20 bucks. And this one's 1980s, and it's about a size medium-large. Um, <laughs> I remember getting these kind of things gifted to me quite a lot in the uh, 80s. And not a fan of it. <laughs> Still not my personal style, but these things do look absolutely amazing on many girls. Especially with, um, oh, I, I moved the mannequin. Oh, I have the hat. Again, this is a fedora. I'm cheating. But when you wear it this way, it kind of, like, works. And I like to get the anal retentative purist. That's not on that. That's a fedora. What are you wearing that for? Just because I like to annoy them. <laughs> I do that on purpose, you guys. Um, okay, anyways, this is a nice silk one. It would be expensive, except for it has a little bit of damage that you can barely see, but a, a little bit of oil damage, which may or may not come out with the dry cleaning. So it's 16 bucks, size small, medium. A little twist on the <laughs> abstract blouse for you. It's got some interesting gold embroidery with some really abstract pleats just randomly placed. I'm sure the designer had very good reasons, not random reasons for it, but pretty random looking. <laughs> um, oh, I'm just all over the place where I put stuff. Okay, some quick bottoms, black and white stripes. Store is called Sideshow. Gotta have them. <laughs> uh, these are just 10 bucks, not so flattering with the elastic waist, but they could be worn. There's stuff that can be done. There's the body type to rock everything. Medium, around the low waist, high hips, uh, about 30 to 36 inch waist. Midi skirts, M-I-D-I, -I, mid length, uh, big this season. I'm loving them. Can't stop carrying them, so deal with them. <laughs> this one's 20 bucks, 1980s, black and white, large check, and it's a wool blend. Um, tweed, not all wool. This is a bold blend as well. A nice little tight pencil skirt. Size small, 26 inch waist, and 20 bucks. This one has a stellar pattern on it. And I replaced the elastic in the back half of the, uh, the band, and it's a nice three rows of uh, smaller elastic. It's more comfortable. Button down all the way, a little paisley floral pattern. 20 bucks, size uh, medium, largest, depending on where you want it to sit on your hips. Labeled size small. <sighs> Not what I do. Not sure if I showed this one yet, but this is a 60s K-Way, not the brand K-Way. Um, I think it's Rainbow Sports, no, it's Durrell or something. <laughs> it's so cool and psychedelic, 1960s. They existed back then. I thought they were invented in the 80s when I was uh, around. Unfortunately, I wasn't around in the 60s. In spirit, maybe, and the hood rolls up into there. Um, I have it priced at 32 bucks, and it's a size small. These things are quite rare. Crap, that thing's in mint condition. Hard to find if you're this size. <laughs> um, and this is a size I was most of my life now in my late 30s. Just a little bigger, but uh, crap, feel sorry for these girls with these shoulders. They are really not that easy. 36, 36 bucks, 1980s. Gap, size small, extra small per se. It is labeled extra small, lil. Uh, quickly, some sweaters, cardigans, 1980s. Navy and white, kind of nautical inspired, 26 bucks. Um, Okay, blazers shouldn't be made out of stretch jersey, but this is a black and white stripe. And it's comfortable, it's lined, it's done well. I couldn't say no. 26 bucks is kind of cheap uh, for what it is. But, um, yeah, I just like the tailored, real, live suiting and stretch jersey and blazers. Makes me face palm. <laughs> uh, but we won't do that now. A little shabby chic uh, brown sweater for you. Kind of knobbly. It's actually in good condition. I'm guessing it's like 70s, but it's a really old little pattern. Uh, it's 18 bucks, it's a size large, as you can see. More sweaters, and the last one, piece de resistance. A mousse, a Canadian mousse. You like mousses? 22 bucks. Here, makes more sense to put them there. Little cranberry birds. Cranberry colors and berries and birds, okay? <laughs> 18 bucks, medium. 
Um, I grew up with these, and it's funny, and I actually prefer the way you guys wear them now than we did then. <laughs> um, this is a cool one. It's kind of like a 40s pattern. I believe it's probably made in the 70s. It's also a 70s-ish pattern. Hundred, I believe, 34 bucks. I think it's a wool blend. It's not bad itchy, though. And it's a size small. It's short-waisted. It's kind of poofy. But, uh, this is a really good one. Vanity Fair. It's like a gold crocheting mesh. I have it priced at 36 size small. Personally, I love these best with a, like a really casual look, kind of boho, but uh, also great for the uh, holiday season coming after this holiday Halloween, so the Christmas holiday. Green boucle wool. I need to add that last button. 42 bucks after I had the button. Uh, if you come in before, it's a deal. 60s Carlisle um, green boucle wool. Really cool, a little uh, uh, weave kind of detail there. Oh, the cat sweater. Worth waiting till the end till I screw more pieces if I get them in to show you. But this is stellar. Uh, real live uh, late 80s to early 90s. It does have this thick kind of cable slash rib knit. Um, yeah, rib knit. <laughs> Not cable, it's rib. Uh, rib knit, this wide rib knit, which was kind of classic of the late 90s, late 80s and 90s. Not my personal favorite, but it's ugly. This is ugly. Ugly times ugly equals beautiful. So it's a pretty stellar freaking sweater. It's also mostly cotton, not cheap acrylic. Um, so yeah, crazy cat lady sweater. But I actually really like to see a guy wear this. Yeah, marry me? We'd look great. Um, <laughs> we'd both look great. Uh, size medium, 40 bucks, because it's damn good. Uh, but I'm not overpricing, I don't think. Quickly, some really crazy good backpacks that I got in. This one I did a little repair, this little boho deal. Um, tons of patchwork stuff everywhere. I kind of hate to think that maybe some starving kid made it in Africa. We were told in the 80s that we were supporting them, but we're, I don't know. Hopefully it's good. It's all good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I'm going to replace this zipper. It's a little wonky because I just did a quick job, but it's good. It'll hold. Lots and lots of room in this backpack. A little adjustable straps. It's actually really good. Hard to find because we uh, wore these to death. They ripped in these areas, which I also repaired and reinforced for you all. So it's in good, strong shape. I do have it all the way up at 38 bucks, but... uh. It's a good backpack. Same with this one. Feels like wool. It's really nice and thick. A little kind of Turkish weave uh, bucket backpack. I have it all the way up at 40 bucks. You really can't find these nowadays. And it's, uh, I don't know. It's cool. That's one. I love this little one. But boys and girls, if you're going to school and you have backpacks with two straps, please wear both of the straps because it's bad for your spine to just do the one. This one's good though, unless you're a nerd like me who wears the both home on my back. You should. I really do have back problems. But just don't do it. Who cares how cool you look? Trust me. Being a nerd and being back pain because you wear your backpack like that. Um, when she's being a nerd any day over the back pain part. This one's cool. Unless you collect rocks like nerdy me. <laughs> um, you won't have it too heavy. So you can just wear it on the one shoulder. Uh, it's like a little fanny pack inspired uh, denim backpack. 1980s. Alright, thanks guys. See you on the next video.